Hi, it's Heather from Electric Metal Girls here. I'm going to demonstrate today how we insert purse feet into the bottom of a bag. And I'm making the Sincerely Jen, here we go, I hope you can see that, how you do a bowler bag. So let me just show you what I do. I thought you might like to see what I'm using. Tula Pink Drippy Rose, which I fussy cut for the back and front. And that's one of her neutrals, as she would call them. And this is Sally Tomato Cork. So that's my accent. So this is the base of my bag, which is the cork. And I decided that I wanted to put purse feet in it. Now, I have access to two choices. One of them is the 12 millimeter domed feet and all my hardware is antique brass in this bag so that's why I've got that or I had a choice of the, the um, flat feet in antique brass which are conical with the top cut off but these are slightly bigger these are at 14 mil so two mil bigger now I got my pattern piece and I folded it in half and now this is the, but as you can see, as I said, this is the cork base. This is Peltex bag base. It's very, it's very stiff stabilizer. It's and I have then put on woven interfacing and very gently used the iron around the edge to hold this into place. I didn't want the Peltex in the seam allowance because. It needs to be able to bend so then I sort of decided and this is I don't quite know why I did it but this is what I did here we go so I've got, sorry it's on this bit that I've got the measurement from and you might be able to see here I'll point to it I poked through with my stiletto and I made a hole and then I got my I'll get this out my friction pin and I made a mark and then I folded it the other way and made another mark and I got these four marks and then I went to the centre which is at this corner and I got this one. I like odd numbers, I find they, they suit my style more so that's why I'm choosing to put five bag feet in, purse feet, depends what it is. This is the washer that goes on the back of your work. And this is the template you use for cutting your little slits for the purse feet legs to go through. Oh, drop it. As you can see, and I've used pliers to separate those out just so I can do that because when they come, they are very close together. So I put the pliers in. I hope you can see what I'm doing. It's a little bit fiddly. Much easier than using my old fingers and hurting them. I just separate that a little bit. Now, I'm going to mark where I'm going to cut my slits. Now, just because I'm a little bit anal as well, I like to orient all my washers in the same direction. I'm going to line it up over my dot, the centre bar over my dot. I'm going to put a slit. Purse feet cost about a dollar for the each, but are often bought in packs of six. Because some people like to put six feet on their bags. I don't. These little domed ones are a little bit less than a dollar. And the flat ones are a little bit more than a dollar. So now I've got this line. I've got my sharp um, blade. Now, I'll just mention, now I won't be using, I might put on the back actually, but if I was using a fabric base for my bag, and I have done that in the past, I would put fray stopper on the fabric where I've cut the hole 
just after I've cut the hole, just so that over time the fabric doesn't fray around the, the hole that I've cut, just to be safe. Now I'm on a self-healing mat and I'm going to be incredibly careful because I'm cutting a piece of cork, which is, as we know, we don't, we don't like to, we don't like to waste our fabric, do we? So I'm going to put on, I'm going to put one on for you and I'm going to show you. So I will put, I separated, oh, these are the feet I separated. Should be able to see the slits, but I can't because my eyes are old. Where are they? I'll, just, I'll have to poke this through. Here we go. Maybe I haven't cut through the cork enough. I have done this before, people. I do assure you I've done it. I just don't want to cut a, lot, a hole that's really, really long. That's a hole. And there's a hole. So I'm going to then put my feet, my legs of the foot through this hole and push it up. Now I'm just going to put a dob of fray stopper because that plan. I haven't, it's not that long since I used fray stopper. I hemmed a bridesmaid's dress for Vicky and I used it when I finished the rolled hem. I did it as a full length bridesmaid's dress. Now that will dry clear. Because it just gives us that little, just protects because that's woven interfacing. And one leg through one of the slits. And the other leg through the other of the slits. Now, if I didn't have this real, this Peltex in the, the base, I might put a, another washer of something else stiff, like um, Decaville Heavy. Or a, a piece, a small piece of Peltex. So that's how we do it. And then that's the bag foot on the back, or the purse foot. <laughs>